Hey everybody, Henry here. In this episode, we're having a look at the CK Mova SXM3 cardioid condenser microphone, which is this guy right here that you're listening right now. For this review, I'm using my Zoom H5 audio recorder right here, and I've set the gain input right at 3. And just so you know, I haven't applied any sort of post processing or EQ adjustment, anything like that. I've just used LUFS so you can hear it loud enough and naturally as it comes off. If you're interested to buy this bad boy, then it will set you back for around 96 euros or roughly 115 bucks American dollars. Now let's start first with what's coming on the box. So right off the box you get the microphone itself, a shock mount, an XLR cable and the user guide. Now if you want to get a complete kit just as me right now, so the microphone, the boom arm or the supporting arm and also the pop filter which is right here, then that will set you for another 38 euros both of them together or 45 american dollars now let's talk about the mic quality so this has a large diaphragm for a smooth and natural sound and it is great for studio live streaming or podcasting the build quality what i like to call it it is a hefty thick rugged mic made out of metal and is so robust that will withstand tough use over time now let's talk specs condenser microphone with a cardioid polar pattern has a frequency response from 20 hertz up to 20 kilohertz a sensitivity of minus 30 decibel with a plus minus 3 variance, maximum SPL 144 decibels, an equivalent noise of 7 dBA, signal to noise ratio of 87 decibels or higher, output impedance of 200 ohms, requires phantom power of 48 volts and weighs only 325 grams. So this has a cardioid polar pattern which means it will pick up sounds what's in front of it, what's in on axis and it will reject everything that's off axis so on the sides and also on the rear so let's start first with a polar pattern test so right now i'm talking on uh, on the front of the microphone on axis now let's go to the sides this is how it sounds like now on the rear this is how it sounds like now let's go on the other side let's go east this is how it sounds like again to the rear this is how it sounds like and again on axis so what do you think about that now let's check the plosives without and also with a pop filter. Now this is going to sound Italian, so here it goes. Papa fai la pizza, mama fai la pausa, which means dad makes the pizza, mom takes a break. Papa fai la pizza, mama fai la pausa, which means dad makes the pizza, mom takes a break. The pop filter is built so professionally well, I love it. And as you can see, it rejects the plosives so well. Uh, even though even though if you want to be like millimetric uh, away from the microphone, it still does a great job. And here we go. Papa fai la pizza, mama fai la pausa, which means dad makes the pizza, mom takes a break. Now a few words about the boom arm stand that comes separately if you want to add it to the kit. So uh, it is great because it has a built-in 5 8 screw, making it compatible with all kinds of microphones. It has dual suspension springs, as you can see on each boom arm to protect well the mic even from falling. The maximum support weight that it can handle is 2 kg. Also its clamp has a very nice rubber that will actually protect your furniture from, from any scratching or damaging. It is ideal for studio setup and also very very portable to actually carry around. Now I'm going to do a proximity effect so I'm very very close to the mic, I'm literally on top of it so you can tell also from how my voice is being broadcasted just as those radio setup or podcast. Yeah, so this is how it sounds for voiceover stuff and uh, yeah, but of course you can get way way better quality if we add right now the pop filter that the CK Mova supplies separately of course. So now again you are hearing to the radio of Henry and Zip and this is the proximity effect level using this pop filter built so well from the CK Mova and uh, yeah I, I think it does a great job. I've actually lowered the gain just a bit maybe 2.8 on the Zoom H5 and this is how it sounds like I mean awesome right? I really love this uh, pop filter of the CK Mova it's, it just does the job great in the best way. One foot away from the microphone. Two feet away from the microphone. Three feet away from the microphone. Four feet away from the microphone. Five feet and that's it. Now since the microphone comes with a shock mount on the first place, let's see how well it does. I'll start to tease the table. Now the boom arm. I'm being a bit harsh here. doing a nice job right now the shock mount itself now the microphone
I'm so impressed, the shock mount does a great job. Now this room that I'm doing this review is not treated in any sort of way acoustically and there's just an air conditioning running on the background which is right behind my back and at least, but here's a closet, some clothes around a piece of rug but let me send you to, to, to a very untreated basement of mine. Now I'm in the basement, I'm here with my Zoom H5 as you can see right here Again, the gain input at 3. I'm uh, away from the CK MOA, maybe 10 to 15 centimeters away. Uh, now, this is a completely untreated room. I mean, there is just walls and this is the basement. There is nothing here. And if I'm going to uh, talk to the mic in a distance, say, for example, one foot away or 30 centimeters, which is uh, approximately here, then this is how it sounds like. You can tell that the voice is being uh, bounced off the walls. Now this is uh, 60 centimeters and or two feet away. Of course, nobody is going to use their microphones in such untreated areas, but uh, this is just for my fun. Now let's get back to the review. So to sum it up, when I first got the mic, I didn't know what to expect from this microphone, right? I knew that this was uh, built for studio live streaming or podcasting, but I didn't know what to expect. And then just suddenly after doing some testing, I was quietly surprised, I mean pleasantly surprised from this microphone. The build quality of this mic is great, the sound that comes off of it is amazing. Seems like this microphone reads my voice so well and now my voice comes out very natural and I love it. I also love the fact that this microphone has an equivalent noise of 7 dBA and also a maximum SPL of 144 dB which means it can handle any sort of loudness. Don't worry about that. So if you're asking me, I totally recommend this guy for the price that it comes. I mean, it's very affordable and this accessory is this dual layered. I'm very in love with this because it, it is made out of high quality and this dual layered technology is it's very, very great and it does a great job against the plosives, proximity effect. It's, it's a great, great accessory. You shouldn't miss it. And if you buy this, then come on, buy also the, the, the boom arm because uh, they, they all come together. So, so it's a great, it's a great kit. So that will do it, guys. I really hope you found the video helpful and enjoyable. If so, leave it a like. And also, if you do have any question, please leave it down below. And if you're interested to buy this guy, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.